You're now joining the meeting. Hello, everybody. This is Derek. Can you hear me okay? Yeah. Okay. All right. Just great. Just making sure. Um, we just finished up practice here a couple minutes ago, so I'm going to go ahead and hand the phone over to Coach. Yeah, I see Shirley. I see Shirley. Now she's a congressman. Julie's supposed to take care All right, here's Coach, guys. Can everybody hear me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Um, just finished up here with practice and um, had, had two good days here. Uh, obviously, I wasn't very pleased the other night. I just didn't think we were very good. I thought our well, execution was awful in really every area except for defensive rebounding. Um, I, I didn't like our competitive toughness at all. Uh, when we got hit in the mouth, I just didn't think it was it was good enough. It wasn't up to our standards. Um, you know, obviously I'm a little bit concerned by that because I think we've competed at a really high level for a game and a half of the three Big Ten games. Um, I didn't like our second half against Michigan, and I didn't like our game the other day. So, you know, that part, the stuff we can control is what I'm most worried about from an execution standpoint, from an effort standpoint. Um, you know, we've, we've got to be better – uh, in executing the game plan. I didn't think we were very good at that the other night. Um, and obviously I thought Michigan State was exceptional in a lot of those areas, and that led to the, you know, the uh, differential in the game. So, uh, guys, have obviously we've talked a great deal about the last couple of days here. We've practiced well. Um, but we've got to be much more consistent, regardless of who we've got on the floor. Um, you know, as I told them, you know, at this point they should be used to guys being out. I mean, We've had more guys out probably collectively than any team in college basketball, you know, but we had guys out when we played Xavier very well. We had guys out when we had a dunk and a layup and a three-pointer to beat Providence at Providence, and we played very well there. So, you know, we don't have any excuses. You know, we, we've got to, you know, man up and, um, and figure out how to be better controlling the things that, that uh, this current group that we're playing uh, can control. So, you know, obviously we head into tomorrow, uh, another great test of toughness. They're terrific in rebounding. They're another shot-blocking team. Um, they're really good defensively. They're the number one defense in America per Ken Palm. Uh, they're just they're, they're great at defending uh, two-point area, three-point area. They block shots. They've got great size. Uh, I think offensively they move the ball well. You know, obviously you're talking about the largest in terms of size team uh, maybe even in the country. So, you know, that, that concerns you rebounding. It concerns you defending the two point area, um, and, and a multitude of other ways with their size. They have great depth. You know, they're playing 10 guys, uh, night in, night out, um, that give them something and, and contribute positively to their team. Um, and they put shooters around certainly the, their bigs, uh, around Swanigan, Haas and Hammonds, which makes them even more difficult to defend. So, you know, we, we've now, uh, you know, this is the second game in a row where I really think, you know, certainly game in and game out, you want to be tough. But I think when you think of Michigan State, you think of Purdue, you know, you've got to be really exceptional, I think, with your toughness, both physically and mentally. Questions? Uh, Sean, this is Shannon. Um, it, just as far as their size goes, can you put into perspective just how rare it is to see that type of just sheer size, beefy, tall guys like that. And, and also, uh, Coach Beeline said he gave his guys, uh, he called him Kareem Abdul-Jabbar sticks. <laughs> Did you guys try anything unorthodox just to, you know, in practice, no. as, uh, getting ready for shot blocking stuff? No, not not really. I mean, obviously, some of the skill stuff we did, we we used pads and different things, but we we always do that. Um, you know, we uh, uh, we we've... We understand how big they are. We've got to be smarter, Shannon. It'll be a great test for us because, you know, we played three consecutive teams in a row that block shots and have great size, Ohio State, Michigan State, and Purdue. We obviously didn't learn very well from the Ohio State game because we had nine shots of the 19 two-point field goals we missed in the Ohio State game. Nine of them were blocked. 
You know, eight of them were blocked the other day in the Michigan State game. You know, I thought we were a smidgen better at understanding that, but we've got to get a lot better at understanding that um, because it's it's the same thing tomorrow. You know, another prolific shot blocking team. Hey, John, it's uh, Jeremy. Uh, I know we talked about their size, but last year they had Octius step up. What is uh, Johnny Hill doing right now for them? Um, obviously providing them, you know, he and P.J. Thompson, they basically, I think – Johnny started six games. The other kids started ten. Thompson, uh, they're, they're steady. They take good care of the ball. They get the ball to their shooters. They get the ball inside. Both guys defend. Um, they, they, I would say, you know, as you watch them play, I would say they're very very reliable, uh, those two guys. You know, very steady, very solid, and uh, and do their job well. This is Shannon again. Um, Pena talked about just, um, you know, their turnover problems and uh, getting in transition, how it's difficult for them to get in transition. And is that an area you'll try to exploit? And, you know, do you take anything from that Iowa game uh, of what Purdue showed? Yeah, I mean, obviously we're a different team than Iowa. You know, we say that. Yeah. I mean, we, we've been a different team about four or five times, you know, already through 16 games. So you have to adapt and adjust. Um you know, Iowa tends to full court pressure a little bit more with their philosophy and their system, and that certainly helped uh, force some of those turnovers in the Iowa comeback. Um, you know, with us, you know, we're a different team than played them than, than played them last year. Where I thought we, you know, really, you know, for about three halves, two of them here and then one up there or over there at their place, I thought we played really well watching those films. We were just we're a different team. We're built differently right now, especially with certain guys out. Um, so we, we've got to play within certainly our strengths. Um, obviously transition offense has been good to us. We always want to push the ball. I was disappointed the way we, we didn't push the ball as hard as I would have liked on Thursday night. I thought we, when we did get stops, which wasn't nearly often enough, but when we did, we didn't run like we need to run. So we've got to be better there and hopefully we can get some in transition. Hey, John, you might be asking, this is Jeremy again, you might be asking Mav and, and, and Michael maybe play outside of their, you know, comfort zone a little bit, but what, how have you seen them defending and, and getting tougher in the post? Have, have you seen any progress there? Yeah, I've seen some progress. They need, more, they need to improve more uh, down there. I asked a lot of them the other night, you know, that's the most minutes that either guy has played in their career in a game. And, um, you know, we were down one body. So that influenced our rotation a little bit, influenced our starting lineup, influenced, uh, you know, wh when we subbed, how we subbed. Um, and I, I didn't think we responded real well to that uh, the other night. I probably played both those guys uh, a little bit too much. Um, they, they, they made mistakes the other night when they got fatigued. At the same time, they've got to learn how to push through that. They've got to be mentally tough enough and physically tough enough to – to do, you know, what we need them to do when asked. And, uh, you know, obviously the night we played them both 30, you know, 30 plus. And um, I, I, I thought that affected them a little bit. But, you know, they, they've got to they gotta toughen up too. Uh, we certainly talked with them about that. And they, and they know that. John, the they've, got, they've, got the, they've got the two big fives. Um, how does uh, Swanigan – fit with them and fill out that front line? How does he look? Uh, he makes them enormous, obviously. I mean, they're huge um, at those two positions. They're big. Uh, great on the glass, great in the low post, great in the paint. Um, you know, he's he's skilled, too. I mean, he, you know, game against Butler, he makes, you know, makes multiple threes. Um, you know, he handles the ball well for his size. Um, he can... Uh, you know, he can switch defensively and, and guards the ball well against perimeters for his size. So, you know, he, he's not just exclusively a paint guy. You know, he, he, he does his damage in a lot of different areas of the court. I think that's what makes him such a good player. Thank you. Hey, Coach, this is Pat. Uh, kind of back to Mav and, and Michael a little bit. Uh, Played them the most, as you could say, but you probably played them the most together you know, this year uh, as well. What did you like from that 
line up and what, what can that group maybe do more of? Well, I didn't like very much about anything the other night other than our rebounding. Um, you know, I, obviously it's always a possibility. Um, you know, uh, the, the, obviously Michael can play two positions. Um, you know, we've taught guys from the beginning, um, you know, multiple positions, guys that are second year guys, usually, unless it's a, you know, unless it's a guy who plays exclusively point or exclusively center. So that's helped us, obviously. Thank goodness we've done that because guys have had to play not only the positions that we anticipated, but maybe even some that we didn't. Um, so, you know, it gives us some versatility to be able to do that, obviously, and play both of them together and certainly an option. But, you know, we've, we've got to obviously play better than, than we did the other night. And one question about Alex, you know, you said earlier this year that, you know, when you put him in, you know what you're going to get, you know, when he's on the court. Just, do you still see that from him uh, at this point in the season? Um, obviously, he's done a great job of taking care of the ball. I mean, you can look at the stat sheet and see that his assist to turnover ratio. He takes care of it. He doesn't make losing plays on that end of the floor, uh, which is a big plus. Uh, defensively, we need him to get back to doing what he was earlier. I thought in the Ohio State game, he had three critical fouls where he put his hands on dribblers, you know, one of them late in the game with a two-point deficit. We get a stop, we get the ball back, uh, but we chuck a guy and foul him, you know, put him on the line. He makes two shots. Um, you know, defensively, he just needs to sharpen up and continue to defend uh, without fouling. I thought he was okay um, Thursday night defensively, but I still think he can give us more there. He has given us more. So really, you know, for him, uh, getting back to that guy that we can count on to be great defensively and then obviously hoping he continues to take good care of the basketball and expecting that from him in his role, he's done that pretty consistent all year. Thanks. I assume all is well with Kendrick's family and he's back, right? I'm sorry? I say I assume all is well with Kendrick's family and he's back and – uh, oh yeah, yeah. Yeah. Kendrick okay. practiced the last uh, two days, and and uh, yeah, everything's fine with uh, with his family and with Casey. Yep. Yeah. Okay. The rest of the uh, roster same, no changes. What's that? I'm no sorry. Changes. The rest of the roster same, no changes, and yeah, he's available. Same. He's no not. changes. Okay. Yeah, same. no changes. Unfortunately, I wish I had more to report for you there. Right. Thanks. Yeah. Is that all for Coach today? I'm good. Thank you. Okay. All right. All right. Thanks, Thanks guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Thanks, yep. Bye. Bye.